question three. Okay, basically the graph below shows you a change in temperature of a substance over a period of time. All right, so basically this is a so-called uh, heat, heat curve or heating curve. So name the processes in A and B. All right, so when you name means I want a specific science concept. Okay, a process. It's the scientific word that you have learned in this topic. Okay, the pros the name of a process. So based on this, what do we notice is that process A. Okay, to be more specific. Okay, always remember the one at the bottom. And it's a constant line. Is what kind of state would that be? It will be both a solid and a liquid. But this is when they are changing from a solid to a liquid state. Okay, and why do you notice about stage C? If you notice that there's an increase in temperature comparatively to the to, to the other two processes. Okay, and then process B happens. And process B is definitely from liquid to gas. Alright, and so, just by understanding what state to what state. Okay, process A is from solid to liquid state. Alright, and solid to liquid state, the process will always be melting. And from liquid to gas, alright, over here is being heated. So let's put the more, a more obvious one will be boiling. Okay, because what happens is only boiling would happen at the top. Okay, evaporation, no more evaporation. Evaporation can take place at any process as long as it's above the melting point. Okay, so take note. Evaporation can take place anywhere above the melting point. So do not write down evaporation as process B. Process B only happens here when it stays constant at the maximum temperature. So it must be boiling. Alright, so the process A will be melting, process B boiling. Alright, so now let's look at part B. Part B is asking you, alright, basically why the line on the graph is horizontal during process A and B. Alright, horizontal means that it indicates that there is no change in temperature. So you have to mention why is there no change in temperature. By the way, there is heat gain. Okay, if you think it logically, there are heat gain during melting, there's heat gain during boiling. But why is there no change in temperature? So you have to tell me about what kind of energy is involved. Alright, and what the that what the energy is used for what? Alright, so basically the energy is used in what process or what thing? Okay, so basically over here, since there's no change in temperature, heat energy actually is used for something else. Alright, always remember as long as there is a constant temperature, means that heat energy gain is used to change its state instead of increasing its temperature. The, the temperature will only start to increase when all the solid has melted into a liquid state. Alright, so please mention change in state and you have to mention it remains constant. So you have to say process A and B, temperature remains constant until all of it has changed its state. Alright, why? Because the energy is applied here in this, during this process. Okay, it's used to change in state instead of raising the temperature of the substance. Temperature of substance will only increase when the state has fully changed to a liquid. Okay, or a gas for, for process B. Alright, so now let's look at part C. Part C, what is necessary for stage C to occur? Alright, so basically they're asking you, okay, stage C, if you look at stage C, there's a, it's an increase in temperature. So we know what is necessary for an increase in temperature or leads to an increase in temperature. This is actually quite a straightforward question. What will lead to an increase in temperature? So basically, heat. Heat energy must be supplied in order for the substance to increase in temperature. So heat energy is important. Alright, so now let's look at question D. If the substance is actually water, please indicate what will be the temperature X and Y. Alright, so basically, temperature X is the melting point. Temperature Y is the boiling point. So always remember for pure water, pure water, Okay, when there's no impurities, what happens is melting point is always fixed 0 degree Celsius, boiling point is fixed 100 degree Celsius. Alright, so please take note that temperature X is your melting point, temperature Y is your boiling point. Okay, so now let's look at 
The last one suggests a method to speed up stage C. So basically, when I want to speed up stage C, then it's on to speed up the rate of increase of temperature. So what happens is I want the increase of temperature to be faster. So increase temperature faster. So what must I do to increase the temperature at a faster rate? So basically, I need more heat. So when I need more heat, what can I do? Okay, it's either I, 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 I supply more heat energy. Okay, so basically, so just a method, supply more heat energy, okay, by, if you want to say, by adding candles or, or putting it over a bigger flame, it's fine as well. Alright, so basically, the main thing, you just have to mention, more heat energy is required. Okay, if you want to add on how you're going to do it, it's fine, okay, but the main thing here is more heat energy.